friends, today I'm going to take up a very important topic of grammar that's called subject verb agreement. And I've seen most of the individuals, they get confused in whether the verb should take as or it should not take as with particular subject. So I'm not going to get into the nitty gritties of the rules of grammar. I will teach you in the form of a story. So let's start. I. I is a person who is very egoistic. I will never take help from outside. Now, taking help from outside means making use of S with verbs. So, whatever verb is used with I, it will not end with S. Right? I do. I have, I know, I repeat, I love, I study, fine. So, you, similarly, you will not take help from outside because you is very egoistic. So, I and you, they are standing against each other. You do, you have, you know, you remember, you play, you study, you love. So, he, he is poor he. He is always seeking help from outside. Seeking help from outside means the verbs will take s with whenever it is used with he. He does. He knows. He has. He loves. He eats. He cooks. He studies. He works. So similarly, she. She is poor she. She requires help from outside. She does, she knows, she has, she loves, she eats, she drives, she studies, she plays. Then comes it. It is also poor it. It does, it knows, it has, it works. Right? Then comes they, they are already more than one. They is a word, uh, subject that is used more than one. So they don't require help from outside. So the verbs which will be used with they, they will never end with s. They do, they have, they know, they love, they read, they behave, they eat, they play. So all the verbs are there, they are not ending with s, with they. Then comes we. We also means more than one. So we uh, will not take help from outside. We have, we do, we know, we require, we need, we eat, we love, we cook. So, I have used different pronouns. He can be replaced with the name of a boy. She can be replaced with the name of a girl. So, in this way, you can always use the story and you will never go wrong. It is just a part of subject verb agreement that I have taken. In the next video, I'm going to get into more of details of subject verb agreement. I hope you liked the story and you will remember it while using particular verb with a particular subject. So friends, if you like my video, please share it and subscribe my channel. Bye-bye.